Hello, welcome to another episode of For the Record. So, for this video, as you guys know, the winner is Marilyn Manson Smells Like Children. But, before we get into that, do me a favor, head over to ForTheRecordStore.com Get yourself some merch, some albums, anything you want. We got coffee mugs, we got t-shirts, we got stickers. Now that we're back, so I want to do this album on Merle Manson. This is the original copy. I got a stupid ass bootleg because that's what I had first. And I was able to grab the bootleg picture disc for a pretty decent price one day. I snagged that for way cheaper than they ever go. Uh, the one thing I do want to tell you guys in this video if you buy this album make sure it has the stickers simply vinyl stickers on it make sure it has the insert that has the ad on it which i'm going to show you exactly what that means right now and if you look on the dead wax it's written on the dead wax there's no like computer typed numbers uh, so just be wary of that and this is a matte finish not a glossy finish so that's another dead giveaway. And if it comes with a poster, that's another dead giveaway. Sorry, I dropped that, but this is the insert ad that it comes with for Simply Vinyl. And then this is the actual album itself. And this feels and looks a lot just like my Antichrist Superstar, so. I know that it's real. Um, the person that had this one definitely kept this in really good condition. And I got this from a seller off Discogs. It definitely cost me a pretty penny, but not as much as others. I did try to offer somebody on eBay for one of these for a price. He didn't want to take my offer. Pretty sure it's still for sale. It's probably still there. It's been there for like a year already, so whatever. Apparently, he's not in a hurry to sell it. I don't really care. I got my perfect copy that I needed. Um, I would have to say this record is outstanding and uh, flawless victory. Absolutely, fucking flawless victory. So let's talk about this album. Just give me one second. Let me get this back in here, like so. And I will be doing uh, another video on this, on how to tell the difference between a real version and a fake one, just like Antichrist Superstar, but we're going to actually save that video for another day. On this album, this is Smells Like Children. It is the EP by American rock band Marilyn Manson. It was released on October 24th, 1995 by Nothing and Interscope Records. Produced by Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails. It represents an era of the band full of drugs, abuse, tours, sound experiments, and references to Child Jack Catcher, a villain from the 1968 musical film Shitty Shitty Bang Bang. The EP was intentionally supposed to be strictly be a remix for the single for Dope At, which that makes sense because they got a version of that on there. But various artists contributed by Engineer and Skippy Puppy, produced by Dave something, Nine Inch Nails, live keyboardist, Charlie Closer, and new material by the band resulted in electric and unusual combination of material. All the ideas and tracks of the EP were created and composed through the touring cycle in support of the band's 1994 debut, Portrait of American Family, which was their first album, and was Merrill Manson's work to feature long time member Twiggy Ramirez. So this was his first time in Ginger Fish on drums. So that was the replacement from the first one. So the EP was certified platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America. Its sole single was Sweet Dreams are Made of This, originally written and performed by the Arithmetics. The song music video became a staple on MTV and helped establish the band in the mainstream. So this album came out October 24th, 1999. It was recorded between 1994 and 1995. It was recorded at Nothing Studios in New Orleans. It's 
industrial metal goth metal it's 54 minutes and 43 seconds long the producer is Trent Reznor and Sweet Dreams Are Made of This released June 22nd 1995 um, this was definitely one of those albums that I got as a kid on cassette tape. But unfortunately, by the time I did get the cassette tape, uh, Antichrist Superstar was already out, and I got both of them at the same time. I remember one year, I probably told you guys this story a million times. Um, it was like for Christmas, I was able to choose a couple things out. She let me get two t-shirts, two cassette tapes. I got Smells Like Children, Antichrist Superstar. I got a Smells Like Children shirt and an Antichrist Superstar t-shirt. My mom was like, are you sure? And I was like, please, mom, this is all I want. And she did. And it forever changed my life listening to these albums. So, like, when I listen to this, it is a lot of remixes and stuff like that from the first album. But honestly, like, I consider this an album in my book. And I don't know about the rest of you guys, but, like... This was very iconic for me for as a child. Um, it was definitely amazing. Like, so good. You know, let's check this out. I give it a 10 out of 10. Just because I really do love this album. And I can totally listen to this album front to back. No problems. I don't have an issue doing it. And then here, I'm going to show you the bootleg version. So this looks exactly identical to the one I have. And the only reason why I've kept this around for so long, and I normally don't try to keep bootlegs, is because of this was uh, pretty much an exact replica of it. So I wanted to make sure that, you know, if I didn't have a copy, but as you can tell, it's a glossy copy. Very glossy. Um, and then comes with a poster so if yours came with a poster it's a fake one just so you guys know out there don't hate me hate the game okay and then this is the stamper on it which you can tell the stampers colored off it's not the same color and if you look in the dead wax there's only texted like numbers and letters and on the original it's not a text it's not it's written on there like this part right here is written on here, but like realistically it says SVLP 2008. I don't know why it says 2008, but whatever. Um, I know this is an original. I know it for a fact. Um, you can always just tell by these numbers over here on the first side. It's always like uh, a text. Thing. But like I said, I'll save that for another day. There's many other hints to other albums and how you can tell and stuff but i did want to show you guys that because i do think that is cool um do me a favor and just make sure you guys like subscribe and vote for the next video all right that's all i got for today i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to join me in the next video all right peace Like fucking Nine Inch Nails is their own paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> These guys, man. I got a great picture, but it's got all of them with their camcorders inside of the state. Oh, look. Lots of people. They're tourists. <laughs> and you call yourselves, you're Marilyn Manson because? Because that's my name. <laughs>